What's going on guys? Today we are back and today we are back working on my 1989 Toyota pickup. Brought to you in part by Overland Outfitters. Now I'm getting to the very end of my list of stuff to do for the fire restoration. And one of the last things to install is this, my winch. Now for those of you that know my truck before the fire restoration and the 1UZ swap, the grill was different before. It wasn't this black one, it was the stock chrome, but I had the whole center section cut out just for the winch controller. This time around, I'm trying to save that. I like the look of the Toyota logo in the middle, so I'm going to try to fit the winch with all this intact. I might have to cut this bottom row out in here, but that, I think that'll be it. So let's see how it fits. Yeah, this is working out pretty much exactly how I was expecting. You can see the hole back in there that the winch needs to mount into, so it needs to go back about half an inch. So this bottom rib in the grill is going to get in the way. But overall, that's not that bad. Only the bottom row rib um, from the center section of the grill needs to come out so that the winch can get tucked back into place. It. The winch is installed with the control box off-centered this time around and uh, yeah, it looks great. Minimal modifications to the grill, all the wiring is routed. It's not quite connected to the battery here yet, but that'll take me all of a minute to get done. But uh, yeah, now to the next and arguably more exciting part, installing this really nice Freedom Recovery Gear synthetic winch line. All right, it's the next day and uh, look what just came in the mail, my fair lead. So this is just a really cheap Amazon one and I'll leave it in the description below if you guys are interested in picking one up yourself. interested in picking up one of these winch lines for yourself or anything that Freedom Recovery Gear offers, I have linked them in the description below. And make sure you use coupon code DIRTGARAGE to receive 15% off your order. Next on the list, let's install the e-locker harness. Okay, now that the winch is installed with the brand new winch line, there is one last piece of this puzzle that'll finally bring this truck back to 100% where it was before the fire. And that is e-locker harness. So this is a Dark Illusions fabrication e-locker harness. The same guys that sent me my last e-locker harness and they were kind enough to send me another one to replace the one that burnt up. This is really straightforward. It's entirely plug and play. You give it power, ground, and then, you know, plug in your locker here and it's essentially ready to work. So here's something else I figured I should show you guys. So I used to have a double din deck in here before the fire. After the fire I replaced it with a single din and a paranoid fabrication switch panel right underneath it. And on the far left here that's where the locker is. Obviously I don't have the harness or anything connected up to it. In fact most of these aren't connected. The only thing that's actually connected is the fan switch. So yeah I gotta run that harness into the cab, connect it to that switch in that panel I just showed you, and I'll essentially be done. There's a couple extra wires I want to connect because I have mine set up so that my gauge cluster tells me when my locker is on. So uh, yeah, let's get to it.
Okay, it's installed. Let's test it out. Locked. I heard it lock and check the dash. It does work. It tells it when it's locked and unlocked. I did actually make a video showing how I made my gauge cluster show when the locker is engaged. And if you guys are interested in checking that out for yourself, I'll link that also in the description down below. Anyways guys, that about wraps up this week's episode of Dirt Garage. I hope you enjoyed it. There wasn't a lot here, but finishing up a few odds and ends that I needed to get done in order to get out wheeling. And speaking of wheeling, if all goes according to plan, we will finally be out on the trails again this weekend. So, uh, you guys can look forward to that video. Anyways guys, if you like this stuff, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and hey, I'll see you next week. Let's go. Peace. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others say I'm